Hi everyone, welcome to Color Conversations with Crawford Street. I'm Tanner, and today's color is Sherwin-Williams 7015 Repost Gray. So before I even show you the color, I'm gonna kinda of explain it. How we think of it is if color depth is on a chart from like zero to 10, zero being ultra white, and 10 being black black um you know you have you seven to ten is your is your deep tones four to six is your medium tones one and two are really your whites three is where you're just barely getting into color you know you're not fully in it it's still going to be very subtle in terms of color but you're not white you know and you're you're definitely going to still have a, a good amount of contrast with a white trim or a white cabinetry or whatever so repose gray is like that it is getting really into the grays um and it actually starts a whole line of beautiful grays like on the on the color deck it's a whole line of beautiful grays it is like i said it is a light color still it's lrv is 58 um so it's a lighter you know color though um it's definitely gray um a lot of builders like this color because it has a nice warmth to it um, and it has, so it plays nice with almost any wood, almost any wood is going to look good with this color, whether it has a grayish tone already, um, then this is going to help it by giving it some warmth so that it doesn't feel too like, oh my, I got a gray filter on, on my house. Um, but if you've got really warmer woods, it's going to still play nicely with that, but it's going to offer some of that gray, some of, some of that muted color so that it doesn't feel so saturated. Um, and like I said, so it's, it's not gray so that where you look at it, you're like, wow, that's a, a gray is your color in here. You know, it's still going to be a good canvas color so that everything kind of pops against it, but it is enough into the gray family that, like I said, builders love it. Um, because it's, it's so pleasing. It works a lot of new construction homeowners are still, that's still what people are wanting, at least for the majority of the walls in the main areas is a lightish barely there gray and so um repost gray is is a great option for that um it's also really nice as a trim color if you're interested in doing the like a contrasting trim instead of your trim being white on the interior or exterior so um you know a lot of times especially in older homes where you're going from um a darker like a, a wood paneling trim and a lot of times people are like I still want that effect. I don't want to lose my um, wood trim um, or I don't want to lose that effect of darker trim. This will still kind of give you an overall fresh, light, new palette, but having a slightly deeper uh, trim will kind of balance that and give it almost um, an antique or like um, an ode to antique um, homes by giving it a contrast. It's also very, <clears throat> on the flip side, it's very modern, dare I say, trendy to do a contrasting trim, especially on the exterior. So if you have a white house and you don't want um, like a dark trim, you know, you don't want the white with the black, but you want just enough of um, a contrast, you know, just to where it feels like it's, it's making your trim work stand out, then Repose Gray is a great um, trim color for exteriors if you have a white house. And on the flip side, if you're doing a darker color or if you have a lot of stone and brickwork, then this is also a good trim color because it's gonna pull light enough, but to, to be the base color in the project when you have a lot of neutral components going on. But again, it's gonna be gray, so it's still gonna be muted. It's still gonna be um, relevant in today's you know design trends. Um, so other places we've seen this look good are, the, honestly so it's a really great color for all walls um it's also like i said trim it's a really pretty shutter and uh shake color so a lot of times people will have a white house but they'll have one little section that has shakes in it or they'll have wood slat shutters and and again kind of like the idea of the trim it just depends on which way your house is built and style you know leans itself to um and what you want to highlight and accent um, this is going to give that same effect where it's going to be a different color other than the white. So it's going to offer another 
dimension but when you put it on something textured like shake or slatted trim or things like that then it's really gonna almost look like it's got a, a texture like a, a like it's almost patterned um, itself so it's gonna offer a dimension in the color but also in the pattern um, so we love this one for just a soft color when you need color and when you need it to be gray um, but not a cool gray you know when you need it to be gray you need it to be enough of a color but you need it to also have warmth to it um, this is it this is it it really achieves everything you need it to achieve because it's so versatile um, if you're thinking about using it or if you think you want to use it reach out if you want some projects pictures of projects that have uh, done repos gray then then let us know and we'll get those over to you because like we always say at least start here it's a good starting point because like I said it's it comes it starts a great line of grays Dorian gray um, and so mindful gray so see how deep you want it you know but if you're just barely wanting to get into color but you know you you need it to be an, a light warm gray this is a great one to to start off with and to see you know where it takes you if you need to go a little gray or a little maybe of a more cool undertone or a more green undertone um then you can reach out we'd love to help you um and if you've done a project with repos gray and you love it and you want to share it with us we also would love to see that again it was sherwin williams 7015. Beautiful color, huh? Okay, thanks for being here, guys. And if you want to um, to have more color conversations, subscribe to us. Again, reach out if you want to. Uh, CrawfordStreetDesigns at gmail.com. I'm Tanner. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.